Welcome back to the channel boys, Fablinski's coming at your neck with this Howl of the Storm aspect build. With this build we're going to focus heavily on the new Titan aspect Howl of the Storm which kind of gives us a new Titan ability whenever you slide and use your melee at the same time it kind of does like a like an uppercut thing and stasis crystals come out in front of you. It's really cool looking and it's a lot of fun so let's go ahead and break it down. So obviously we are on Behemoth Titan, we're using the Glacier Grenade for this build and here is the new aspect Howl of the Storm. When sliding, activate your charge melee ability to launch a wave of stasis energy forward that freezes targets and creates stasis crystals. It literally is almost like middle tree uh, arc strider. Whenever you do like a slide and melee, it kind of does like an uppercut. It's kind of the same thing. Obviously, I think that one has more range, but this is, you know, it launches like a couple of stasis crystals in front of you. And it's really cool. You know, <laughs> if there's any enemies rushing you, you just slide forward. And I think it's going to be pretty good in PVP as well. But right now we're focusing on PVE because, well, that's what I like to do. And then our second aspect is Tectonic Harvest, shattering your stasis crystal creates a stasis shard. This stasis shard grants melee energy when you pick it up by you or, or your allies. So your allies can pick it up or you pick it up, they get melee energy or your allies get melee energy. As for my fragments, we're using Whisper of Fissures, so that way whenever I do break a stasis crystal, it has a bigger burst and it does more damage. We're using Whisper of Refraction, whenever I defeat a slow to frozen target, I get class ability energy back. Whisper of Hedron so I can get that weapon damage buff. I love that. And then we're using the new Stasis Fragment Whisper of Fractures. Your melee energy recharges faster when you are near two or more combatants. So I'm going to be close and personal a lot, trying to take advantage of this melee. So this kind of makes sense for me to use whenever I'm swarmed or just two or more. Uh, it comes back faster, so this pairs nicely with this build. As for my loadout, you guys know I like to take all of my builds into Nightfalls. So we're using Friction Fire with Threat Detector Wellspring. Wellspring will help me get my melee back as much as I can. Um, right now it's Overload SMG, so right there, there you go. I can use Overload SMG on this SMG. We're using Truth Teller. At the time of recording this video, I was trying to grind for Salvager's Salvo. Now I have it, but this is the loadout I was using in the video. So we're using Feeding Frenzy Multi Kill Clip. Actually, I'll show you. It's a really good roll especially for grinding something like a lot of grenade launcher kills hard launch spike nade so if i can in case i need to do a little bit more extra boss damage i can we got feeding frenzy multi kill clip and then a reload master work. it's a pretty solid roll i really like it as you can see i just master work just to grind for salvage salvo and i have 500 kills on it already and then we're using two-tailed fox because rockets are nuts right now and honestly two-tailed fox is so good you guys gotta try it if you haven't with this new rocket launcher buff it absolutely slaps as for my stats we got 26 mobility 72 resilience now my, my titan cooldowns on a 25 second cooldown we got 44 recovery i wish this was a little bit higher maybe i could have switched my gear around but i was trying to get that 100 strength stat we got 22 discipline 37 intellect and then we got 103 uh, strength which means my melee is on a 32 second cooldown but with the tectonic harvest it's going to come back a lot faster so let's go ahead and start with the helmet like always we got a strength mod we got a rocket launcher ammo finder so i can take advantage to tail fox even more and then we got taking charge, become charge of light by picking up orbs of power. Both my weapons are masterwork, so there you go. Picking up any of the orbs it generates, I become charge of light. On my arms, we got a minor resilience mod. Of course, we got overload SMG and SMG loader. Both cost one, this is perfect. And then we're using swift charge, become charge of light by rapidly defeating combatants with pulse rifles, sidearms, or SMGs. Now I do have the secondary perk, which is defeating combatants with a pulse rifle grants you a chance to drop special ammo for your allies. Obviously I'm not using a pulse rifle, but I guess it's a nice little benefit just for the future. Keep that in mind. Now onto my exotic piece of choice, which is also my chest piece. We're using Heart of Inmost Light. Now the armor perk that comes on it is Overflowing Light. Using your ability, grenade, melee, or barricade empowers the other two abilities. Empowered means abilities have faster regen, melees and grenades do more damage, and barricades have more hit points. So if I use my barricade first, then use my melee, it's going to have a faster regen. And then once I pick up the Tectonic Harvest, it's going to come back a lot faster. If I get some kills with my Wellspring weapon, I get some melee energy back. So it's going to come back a lot faster. As for my mods, we're using Strength Mod. We got Concussive Dampener, Sniper Damage Resist, and we got Reactive Pulse. Now, I just want to say I wanted to use this build with Heavy Handed. You guys know I love Heavy Handed, so when I use my melee, I get half of it back. But I don't know if it's bugged or if that's how it's intended to work, but it does not work with the new slide ability. It also just doesn't work with the Behemoth Titan melee, like the regular one. I don't know if that's intentional or if it's bugged. But literally when you use the melee, like the slide melee thing that I'm making the build around now, it does not consume a stack of charge of light and it doesn't give you any melee energy back. So I don't know, I think that's bugged, but maybe that's intentional, who knows. But for right now, we're going to use reactive pulse. 
While charged with light, when you take damage while surrounded by combatants, you emit a burst of damaging arc energy consuming one stack of charge of light. And I do have the secondary perk, again, a powerful overshield while performing your finisher. So right now, since I'm going to be close and personal with this build, whenever any enemies attack me, if I'm getting swarm, it's almost like ACD feedback fence. It releases a burst of arc energy and it destroys a lot of enemies. It's actually really powerful. So since I'm going to be close and personal, and this is kind of like my safety net right here. If someone's rushing me from the back, this is going to protect me and then I know to back off. And then if I need to finish somebody just to get a quick overshield, I can do that as well. So I actually really like this mod. On my legs, we're using a resilience mod. We got grenade launcher scavenger. Now we got Innervation and Reduce Grenade Quidon each time you pick up an Orb of Power. I would have liked to have the other one for the melee ability, but since I needed Solar Legs, this is what I'm going to use. And then we got Charged Up uh, for one additional stack of Charged with Light. And on my Titan Mark, we're using a Strength mod. We got Double Outreach mod, so whenever I use my class ability, I get a nice chunk of melee cooldown. I also have that one fragment that whenever I defeat frozen targets, I get some melee energy back or some class ability energy back rather, not melee energy. So this works very nicely together. And then we got Radiant Light, casting your super causes nearby as to become char charged with light. But the main reason I'm using it is so I can get that plus 20 strength, which is allowing me to get that 100 strength that very easily opens up a lot of mod slots. I love this, this mod for any type of strength build. And here is my Titan fashion. This is the new ornament from the Eververse. It looks sick, absolutely sick. If you're a Titan main, you gotta go get this right now save up some money use your silver whatever it is i don't think they'll ever sell it for bright dust not the new ever set maybe in the future but if you want it now you gotta spend some money it is amazing and it takes shaders really well but i wanted to go for something a little different i feel like i always do like dark colors i went with like a gray white yellow i don't know it looks really good in the red right here and stuff so let me know what you guys think shader will be in the description below this new titan aspect is a lot better for pve in my opinion Although the crowd chasm slide is still useful for getting into cover or moving around the map quickly, getting to res your teammates, something like that. I think that being able to spawn stasis crystals much more frequently with either your grenade and now your melee slide thing, I think it's a lot more beneficial than just having a faster slide. Now PVP, you can make the argument that this is good or the crowd chasm slide. I think that if you want to be like an ape beast, you can just use a crowd chasm slide. But I think that there's some definitely skillful plays that you can make with this new aspect, but that's for PvP. Let's focus on PvE. Being able to spawn stasis crystals and being able to summon the tectonic harvest little shard things to get melee back for you and your teammates is extremely powerful. So there's so many melee abilities that are really strong in this game, such as the Shadebinder melee or the Withering Blade, and there's so much more I can even name, like the Empowering from the Well of Radiance Warlock. That's just a damage buff for you and your teammates. Being able to summon stasis crystals and get that melee ability back for you and your teammates is valuable. And I think that having so many stasis crystals around makes it so that way you have cover for your teammates. And then if you need to blow them up, you can do some pretty nasty damage to any surrounding enemies if they're rushing you. Not to mention that you can also freeze enemies with this ability. So this is a pretty good safety net and it's actually a really good aggressing tool too. Aggressing, I don't even know if that's a word, but you can advance the enemies very easily with this because you slide up pop some stasis crystals and then you can either blow them up use them for cover and if you have that new uh, fragment where it's if you're staying next to stasis crystals you get a damage resist i think that'd be really beneficial as well now i will say that this has the same problem i've always had with behemoth titan is that you have to put yourself it out of cover and in danger in order to get it to work you have to slide and then use it it's not like something you can just use instantly like from from a neutral standpoint you have to slide so maybe if you're running into the wall and then slide or something like that or if you're able to do it fast enough you can get it off but so you have to like actually put yourself out of cover or run at the enemy or I guess you can run backwards and then slide at them. But still you have to do something where you could potentially die in order for it to work, which I mean, if you're okay with, that's fine. It's not as bad as the crowd chasm side where you like have to slide way out of nowhere just to break the crystals. At least now I can just spawn them and then I can use my shoddy or my, my SMG or whatever you have on you to break the stasis crystals. So it's a little bit better in that regard, but still I, I'm, I like it, but uh, I still think it can be a little risky. As for anything I would change about this build, I think that being able to use heavy handed would have made this just insanely good. Maybe that's on purpose because if you were to use heavy handed and then tectonic harvest, you could literally have 
infinite melee abilities like you would just get half of it back destroy the stasis crystals get the other half you can do it again you can repeat the process as many times as you want so maybe that's intentional i don't know another thing to keep in mind is that you can use monte carlo now there's no nightfall mod like uh overload or barrier for all rifles this season but if you don't care about that like if you want to do the proving grounds and you don't care about the champion you can use monte carlo and this build would be excellent with monte carlo because melee kills refill the magazine give you monte uh what is it called markov chain times five and then just doing damage with monte carlo gives you your melee ability back so that is another great option but if you don't have monte carlo a weapon with wellspring would do just fine which is what i'm using and honestly it, I didn't really notice a difference so a weapon with wellspring would do just fine but if you guys like this content please like subscribe and share it truly helps me out a lot you can also check out my other videos links are in the description below I have a lot of crazy builds so go ahead and check that out and you might as well follow my social media I have a twitter and an instagram both at fat underscore balloon but with all that being said deuces